one with the girl on the motorcycle. Yes, she's got that yellow helmet. Dude, watch Do Da Da Da. That was like low key a sleeper hit. Sleeper, sleeper hit. Sleeper, sleeper hit. Guys, if you guys are watching this bottle, watch Do Da Da Da. It's on Netflix. Sleeper hit, bros. Sleeper hit. It take a sleeper hit. It takes a while to get started, but I promise you, you'll enjoy a lot of it once it gets started. Let's get started on Ape Man vs. Nine Super Pie. We're gonna talk about anime every day of the week, well, ladies and gentlemen. But here we have the king of MSM Online back to reclaim the throne against Nine Super Pie. Definitely one of the greatest we fits out there, alongside so good pop as well. And of course, this is looking like a Ape Man to talk about it on Twitter. He said he's gonna be going uh, Diddy Kong for a majority of tonight's stream. I mean, he didn't say also. I mean, he could possibly bring out the Rob. You never I, know. If he funny, really needs it. I will say this about Ape Man. I hate Rob. I hate Diddy. But I love his gameplay with the characters. Then it makes me forgive the character's existence. That's all I'll say. But that, that, that Bernardo to four throw up a four there. Look at this, man. Ape Man is looking to make sure he's got that damage. But look at the way he's trying to hold the stage with Banana as well. Yeah, I mean, if he's able to pressure 9 Super Pi enough to where 9 Super Pi isn't able to do deep breathing, that will give him a big advantage in this match. But 9 Super Pi was able to get deep breathing on. And using uh, the sun to his advantage right there to just get Ape Man off of him. Yeah. And that's what 9 Super Pi also needs to do. When you've got projectiles like that, and you have a character like Diddy, you need to slow that aggression down as much as possible. Because if you don't, Diddy will start to run that entire train out on you. Look at that down tilt to special. And it's good too. Look at the way that we saw Night Suit by Directional Air Dodge. You can see why Ape Man always goes for these options. Ooh, getting hit. I think that was an up tilt. But getting hit by that. Oh, nice use of the. I think that was a forward air right there. Oh, it's, oh, the banana disappeared as soon as he threw it. I guess it ran out of time. Yeah, this is time to go. I think like most I'm not too sure on the timer on projectiles, but I do know some of them have like about a roughly 30 second to 15 second timer. Up a smash to catch a nine super pie. There is no timer needed on that up smash when it's activated because, you know, Ape Man is not afraid to pull that out. Look at the way he just buys himself back at the stage with barrels. That 33 percent was earned, even though he lost the stock because that was a clean play. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that barrels uh, upwards was a miss input because mm -hmm. that led to his uh his death, sadly. Oh man, interrupting that barrels right there too. Nine Super Pi is doing really good. Oh wow, Ape Man using the barrels a lot this game. D Diddy barrels as an option was always like one thing never evaluated on, and then it was brought to prominence a little bit at the ending of Smash 4, but it's gone full circle in the ultimate, because Diddy barrels is crazy. Yeah, I mean, if you can hit the exploding bit of it, I mean, you'll be able to get a a kill off with it, which is really good. Using that banana and the up smash, his his uh, beautiful bread and butter. To, that it didn't close out the stock yet, though. Now, one thing I always think, like, well, if you're in the middle of the stage, you could use up smash, but then, like, it depend. You should use side smash because it's probably easier that way. But good use of the up smash to get him upwards. Yeah. Th uh, there to finish off that kill. I, I agree here with A. Macadiac. He says Ape Man is a crackhead. And the reason why is, bro, sometimes the best mix-up is the mix-up your opponent never thought of coming. Because most players at the higher level and even some le levels, they're used to the common options, right? The options an opponent that they see from most of the players. But Ape Man knows if I keep going for these, you know, the, the textbook combo, combo tree... It's not going to work all the time, and my opponent will learn how to get around it. But if I go for these unorthodox options, these, so to speak, crackhead options, man, it's it's true what they say. The best mix-up is no mix-up or the mix-up your opponent never thought you'd go for. That it doesn't really work. And yeah, you're right. Like, these mix-up, these uh, un unorthodox mix-ups, like, they're very high risk. But then if they don't, if the, most likely... The, oh, actually, no. They're like mid risk because like your opponent won't expect it. But if like if they think about it, like he might go for something, then exactly they, you could get a high reward off of it if you're able to pull that off. But yeah, using that uh, up smash doesn't close out the stock quite yet. But using the banana it didn't Ooh. interrupt deep breathing. Oh man, that lost him really far. But Ape Man getting back to stage, almost getting hit by the sun. Wow, you got to be careful here. Sitting at 102. Nice super pie. Oh, oh my goodness, barrels! Oh no! Wait, what? 
What a what? trade! What a trade! What a trade! Oh, wow! He had the right play. Like, go for barrels, right? And if your opponent hits here, like, cool, I can control barrels and get the revenge kill. But, like, dang, like, ugh. I, that was the trade of our 9 Super Pipe I've ever seen one. And that's crazy. 9 Super Pipe moving up one over against Ape and Man. You can even see the barrels in the background. Like, he was looking to aim them at that Wii Fit. And unfortunately, he had lost the spot before he even got that chance. He ain't gonna let them get that chance. Yep, you said I right. But oh, wow, I'm, I actually thought that Ape Man had that one with the barrels, but that that trade was that was something else. I've, I've never <laughs> seen something that crazy. Hamilio has a good point: the no mix-up versus the bad option mix-up. It's it, those are like some little things that you could always evaluate from against players. But just because sometimes, uh, like. Ape and Man can always just say, cool, instead of down to up smash, I'm going to go for the real combo. I'm going to go for the real combo that works at this percent. Then it becomes mind games. It becomes mind games of, like, how scared is your opponent of of your mix-ups at that point? And that's a whole different level of mentality that can, cha that can happen to players. Some players are ready for those mind games, and some of them aren't. And you can tell right off the bat who is and who isn't, because Ape and Man is always looking to put those mind games into work, especially with the way I've been seeing his Diddy go on tonight. Yeah, I mean, this, this, Diddy Kong, this Diddy Kong gameplay is uh, really, it's really good, but wow, using that pressure to make sure that 9 Super Pie doesn't get that deep breathing off, just keeping that stage control at all times as much as possible, but you kind of can't do much about that recovery of Wii Fits. All right, forward throw. 9 Super Pie back on the stage here. Almost gets a downer, still gets a spike, gets the... Down smash there to cover both angles here on Ape and Man. And it's a battle for the first stock as 9 Super Pie is looking for all the setups. Ape and Man with two claps, but nobody else is clapping with him because he goes for that forward smash. Good first stock there, man. Crazy stuff on 9 Super Pie because that he was literally looking to take Ape and Man for a ride. As you said, that uh, the forward tilt really good since it has that double angle but using the up air uh, up throw to double up air oh he's trying to oh he did that wall cling and that's one thing that i always find interesting about characters with wall cling like it, it, it's interesting for me it's the one thing a lot of players forget because like you, you rarely see it come into prominence but with characters like diddy and greninja like that wall cling can definitely buy them like some nicely earned timing even sephiroth has a wall cling and it's still, and a lot of people just forget it exists. Like, a lot of us know, like, wall jump. Yeah, you get an extra... Oh, wow. Using that uh, soccer ball to hit him off stage. Wow, that's kind of cool. But, as I was saying, like, everyone knows wall jump. You get an extra jump, jumping off the wall. Yeah, not all characters have it. But wall cling is a, de is a different story. Yeah. And I also agree with David, too. Sometimes when wall clings happen, I do feel like they're an accident. But I think Sephiroth having a choice wall cling with his forward air is kind of a cool thing because you could just choose to have a wall cling or not. In that uh, down down uh, air, but Ooh. not all oh, that back air coming out from Nice Super Pie. Nice Super Pie taking game two. Wow. Hold oh, on, just gonna check the predictions real quick. Uh, Nine Super Pi fifty nine percent and Ape Bit Man at forty one percent. I do not like them odds for Ape Bit Man, but when Nine Super Pi up two zero against Ape Bit Man, I wonder if Ape Bit Man is gonna fold the card and say, you know what, let me, let me put the Diddy in the bench and let me bring out this Rob because in the see the Rob so bad. Yeah, I honestly wouldn't feel bad if he goes for Rob. Like, on there's there's more than I feel Ape Bit Man would win with Rob. Just being the player that he is, but you know what, man? Ape and Man is sitting here in winners' finals, top three at worst, you know, top three, top two, top one of MSM Online number fifty-three. At worst, he's in top three, and he knows what to do. He knows what to do, man. Oh, he's staying with Diddy Kong. Okay, let's uh, let's see if I don't think they change stage. So let's see if Ape and Man does. I saw any mix-ups that will bring, or at yeah. least anything that he can do possible that would just uh, keep 9 Super Pie on his toes. Yeah. 
And honestly, that's what's gonna have to come down to is keeping Super Pie on his toes. Also getting, oh, no pun intended, avoid getting hit by the toes. Cause man, those dual sided hit boxes, they hurt and they cover a lot of options. Yeah, you're, you're definitely right about that. Oh, using that up air and up, I mean, my bad, up throw up air. Right now, uh, using that soccer ball. Uh, Knight's probably getting back to stage. Yeah, Ape Man right now sitting at 73%. Ain't looking too good. Using that up, up throw to back air right there. And another back air coming out. Ooh, but is, uh, did still get hit there from, uh, I think it was the soccer ball. Oh, getting hit by the sun as well. It's not looking too good for Ape Man. I feel like he should have switched the rob, but hey, I mean, if he knows what he's doing, he's got to come back here. I, I like to come. I like to come into Diddy. Like you know, you if you say you're gonna commit, you're gonna commit. Every loss, every victory, everything that goes along with it. And commitment is hard, man. Ape Man knows the thing or two about commitment. He's definitely somebody who's gone through weight loss, and that's a commitment all on its own. So I applaud the mental fortitude here. But let's see if we can at least get the stock here. 65 on Super Pie, and he's got him at the ledge. A lot of things going on here, but no back throws, no attempts here to finally get the stock. As you can see, 9 Super Pie is looking to escape all of that. Using the dash attack into a fort, uh, into a fair. Ooh, get, gotta get back up. Using barrels to get back up. Oh, that soccer ball almost hit him. Using that back air there. Oh, the sun almost hits him, but he's he's looking good right now. Sitting at 60%, but that's A-OK. -okay. He, he can still come back. Just gotta close out the stock very quickly at this point. Using up throw. Not look, I'm not seeing any uh, much of him landing banana much. I don't mm -hmm. think he's not using his projectiles at all. I, uh, well, not at all, but like, he's, I'm, it's very rare for him to use projectiles in this match that I've seen. Yeah. He has, like you said, he wasn't a fan. Of, well, I don't want to say he was not a fan, but he hasn't really used Peanut Pop Gun, but also you want to use that as a distance. Good up smash to definitely like, call out Super Pie in that positioning. You know, if he was going to go for a jump or anything to fade back, that up smash would reach. Forward tilt, uh, and that's rough because that range, you can see how it just beat dash attack. But yeah, he's standing on the angel platform for a little bit just to buy some time against that deep breathing. Oh, jeez, yeah. Definitely, uh, Ape Man's struggling a lot right here, but let's see if he can try to bring it back. I mean, Diddy Kong is, uh, Ooh. He he can't he can bring it back with this character. You're kidding oh, me. You're kidding no, me. You're no. kidding me. He the trade-off again. Both times he's died to a trade-off. This hurts. All, all, I, I, all I saw was like down there being pressed several times. And then he he essentially got the stock off. Super pie. The problem was that Diddy was stuck. In the in the bounce animation where Diddy like flails his arms around, and then there's a lot of frames where you cannot make another up B, and unfortunately Ape It Bang was too low, or he might have like, ah, and that hurts. And David Zeus says it best, bro. You actually have to respect Leaf It off the stage because you can see all the downers in the world come up against Ape It Man as soon as he tried an edge card, and or and an off stage play. Yeah, 